I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good, yeah, how are you? I like I'm that fine. Name. Hey, how's everything going down there in Texas, Valder? I'm in Dallas. You know the planet like Texas. Yeah. What, what can care. I say? We're up here. Where? We're up here missing it. We'll be back. That's what I was going to say. Where are you? Because you guys are Texas guys. I know. We're in New York. Ooh, yeah. New York City. Here we are. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> well, my audience is delighted that you're here on the Valder BB Show because I know you're looking to spread the wealth with unconventional entrepreneurs who are willing to get their hands dirty, who aren't afraid to fail, who won't give up because of your new A&E Cable uh, show in your business-based reality. It's a business-based reality show, Rooster and Butch. You know, they told me it's all about street smart and Texas style, and I've watched a couple of episodes. Well, you just about said it. I don't know. I don't think I can add to all that. Yeah, yeah. Can well, we just ha can, can we just have some fun? Talk about some other stuff now. Let's talk about your show now. <laughs> well, we covered we it all. Do all right, you guys call me when you come back to Texas. I might come make a pitch on your show for you my show. <laughs> oh, do you got a product? You got a product, do you, Valder? I do have many products. Yes, I do. Oh, we can't wait to hear them. Okay, but we're here to talk so my audience can get a big break in life. Okay, if I can start with you, uh, uh, Rooster, tell me, and, and no offense, Butch, but I'm going to start with Rooster because he's got the thicker accent. And he's the star of the show. Oh, no, I tried to <laughs> the name of Butch and Rooster, so he'd stop that. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What about uh, uh, those people who don't think they're good entrepreneurs? Do they have a place on your show? Well, absolutely. I mean, people, anybody has an idea. That's, that, the, that's one thing about our show is not, it's not all about the money, you know. I mean, it's about giving people confidence to get out there. I had a guy tell me that in the, this, you know, angel investment stuff, you know, seed investments, he said even if somebody, the fact that somebody has an idea, even if it doesn't, doesn't work, it never burn a bridge with that because the fact that they, ha they're, you know, that they have the gumption to, you know, to get out there and try to do something, he said, you know, they're liable to come up with something good later on anyway. That's, you know, just because just you don't have the greatest idea the first time doesn't mean that, you know, you might not come up with something else. All right, Butch, if they come on the show, if they get selected to come on the show, I've seen the show, give us a little bit of the process so they can get excited. Well, I mean, you know, they're selected. Uh, there's a selection process. Rooster and I are involved in selecting who, who we want to come and pitch to us. We, we, you know, their, their initial pitch on our, on our little uh, cassette recorder, uh, it, you know, that's kind of where it all starts. It, they've got a, it's kind of like Rooster says in the commercial, if they don't catch our attention in the first 30 seconds, they're pretty much out of the deal. So it starts from there, and then, you know, we, it goes from there. We, we arrange for them to come see us, and then we spend time with them. And, you know, everybody, you know, a lot of people think that they've got a great idea, but mainly people just want to be heard. It felt like that, you know, somebody's paying attention to them. And, and we really have a good time getting to know these people. We've got, we've, we've, we're emotionally attached to just about everyone that we've ever dealt with. And it's just a good, fun show, and I think the audience is going to love it. I think it is, too. You guys are just basically the show. You guys are entertaining. But you guys, uh, Rooster, are savvy business people. You guys have made millions of dollars. Are you going to share some of those secrets with, with, the, with the contestants? Well, yeah, but it's basically it's just it's, it's, it's staying the course. It's not like Butch and I made it overnight. It, was, it, you know, it, we, it, hadn't, it was later on in life is when we finally got there. It was just, it just take, we're not about making money overnight. They've got to understand that. We don't know how to do that. Go buy a lotto ticket. 
You know, we, we really don't understand making it overnight. You know, and plus, it doesn't make for a good story. You know, you like to show your scars, your bumps, your bruises, you know, your failures and stuff. I mean, what is it all about? Like he said, it's, a, it's, not, the, it's not the destination, it's the journey. And, you know, it it's not about the money. I mean, you, being successful is, is, is a lot of things. And it and just the fact that we did it, we did it, and and we're trying to share the, the the message, trying to get people to do to enjoy enjoy what they're doing, do business with a conscience. Okay, Butch, I'm going to wrap up with you. I'm going to wrap up with this quote from Jack Canfield. He created the chicken soup for the soul, and I know you heard that. He says it takes 20 years to be an overnight success. You agree or disagree with that? That, that, you know, I've never heard it put that it's fun that way, but that is so true. And, and Rooster and I, uh, we did it the whole, the old-fashioned way. We worked hard for it, we dedicated ourselves, and we stayed the course. And and that's our advice to people: if you want to get rich overnight, go see someone else. Well, you heard it direct from Rooster and Butch, but you can get your own own coaching. You can get your own one-on-one -on -one by watching the A&E series, Rooster and Butch. Guys, when you guys come on on A&E? Wednesday night, January 10th, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This, I'm this, there. This, and I'm, this coming Wednesday. I'm there, and I want my audience to be there so we can talk about you guys on air in a very good way. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. All right, call me when you come back to Texas. You got it. Founder. <laughs>